This wicked act of mass murder is pure evil, hard to believe, and frankly, something that is unimaginable. At least 11 people killed in a shooting at a synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The president commenting on the shooting while in Indianapolis today. Well, we'll share more of his visit in a minute, but first we're following the developing story out of Pittsburgh. The shooting suspect is in custody. He's been identified as 46 year old Robert Bowers. Police say he made anti Semitic statements during the shooting. There was a baby naming ceremony going on at the time. Again, at least 11 people were killed. None of the victims were children. Another six were injured, including four police officers. The officers are expected to be okay, though. Investigators do not believe there is an active threat to the area tonight. Well, News 8's Jenny Dreisler talking with the local Jewish leaders about the attack. She's live now at the congregation of Shara Re Tefila Synagogue in Carmel. Now, Jenny, there's some very raw emotion out there tonight. Yeah, definitely, Julian. Extremely raw emotion. This is a deeply hurtful situation here. I'm told there will actually be extra security here at the synagogue here in Carmel, as well as other synagogues across, across central Indiana in light of the shooting here in Pittsburgh. They just want to make sure that everybody is safe here in the local Jewish community. Now, I spoke with the Jewish Community Relations Council just moments ago. Assistant Director of the JCRC, David Sklar, says the Jewish community here was deeply hurt after hearing of the shooting, calling the attacks horrific. He was visibly upset and in shock as he spoke about the pain the local Jewish community is feeling. This issue today I think is is more about just confronting hate um, generally to you know be aware of how we're treating other people um, to be aware of our political rhetoric how we're communicating with others and um, you know to, to focus on the things that unite us versus the things that divide us. Sklar said the attack hit close to home as the shooting comes almost three months to the day after the congregation Shari Tefila Synagogue was targeted with anti-Semitic graffiti, which included Nazi flags. Now, the JCRC did release a statement earlier today about that shooting in Pittsburgh, saying in part, quote, the Indianapolis JCRC, Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis, and the entire Central Indiana Jewish community is shocked and appalled to learn of the fatal shooting unfolding in a Pittsburgh synagogue. The statement continues, saying, we are communicating closely with Indianapolis and Carmel Police to make sure our local agencies and synagogues have increased protection. Now, obviously, this is a situation we're going to continue to monitor here very closely here locally. If there are any updates on security measures here in Carmel or other synagogues in central Indiana, we'll be sure to pass those along to you on air and online at our website, wishtv.com. Live in Carmel, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8. Thanks, Jenny. Vice President Mike Pence, he is weighing in. He was in Las Vegas this morning and called the shooting an evil attack. What happened in Pittsburgh today was not just criminal. It was evil. An attack on innocent Americans and an assault on our freedom of religion. There is no place in America for violence or anti-Semitism. And this evil must end. Well, we can tell you that Indiana lawmakers are weighing in as well. They call the shooting disturbing and horrific. You can read full statements from senators and congressmen right now. Just head to wishtv.com.